Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna to talk to you guys some more about if statements. More specifically, we're gonna be looking at using comparisons inside of our if statement condition. So this should be kind of cool. In this tutorial, I want to create a function. So we're gonna write a function and it's gonna basically tell us the max of two numbers. So this function will take as parameters two numbers and then we'll basically return whichever number is the largest. And this is a great example of how we can use comparisons with if statements. So over here I have my main function and up here I'm gonna create another function and let's just say it's gonna return an integer and I'm just gonna call it get max and we'll make an open and close parentheses and an open and close curly bracket. So inside of this function, we're gonna take two parameters. One is gonna be an integer and we'll get another integer. So essentially we're gonna take two integers as parameters, as input, and the goal will be to figure out which of the integers is the biggest and return that back to the caller. The first thing I wanna do is just create a variable called result. And I'm not gonna give this a value right away, but eventually at the end of this function, we're gonna return result. So whatever we do in here, we have to store whichever of these is bigger inside of this result variable. So this should be kind of interesting. Now, we need to figure out which is bigger. So we can use an if statement to do that. So I'm just gonna say if, open and close parentheses, and an open and close curly bracket. Now, inside of this parentheses, we need to put a condition. In other words, we need to put a true or false value, right? If the value is true, then we'll execute whatever is down here. If the value is false, then we'll just move on. Here's the thing though, in the last tutorial, when we were learning about if statements, we were using Booleans, right? And a Boolean is a true or false value. So it's really easy, right? You just throw it in there and it's true or it's false and you can just kind of do the if statement. But in a lot of cases, we're not gonna have any Boolean information available to us. So it's not gonna be as easy as just like throwing a Boolean in there. All the only information that we have are these two numbers. So how can we create like a true or a false value using just those two numbers? Well. What we can do is we can use a comparison. So if I wanna figure out which of these numbers is bigger, I can just compare them, right? So over here, inside of this if condition, I can basically just say if num1 is greater than num2. If num1 is greater than num2, then we can just set result equal to num1. And the reason I'm doing that is because we know for a fact that if this condition, if this comparison is true, the num1 is the bigger. So you can see this comparison, num1 greater than num2, it's actually gonna get resolved down to a true or a false value, right? Num1 is either greater than num2 or it's not. Technically, this is gonna be a Boolean value, right? Once you evaluate the comparison, once we figure out if it's true or not, it's gonna be a true or false value, right? So I can basically check to see if num1 is greater than num2, and if it is, we'll set result equal to num1, and we can just say else, and we'll set result equal to num2, right? And the reason we're saying this down here is because if this condition's false, if num1 isn't bigger than num2, then we know that num2 is the bigger of the two numbers, or in certain circumstances, the numbers might be equal, but it's still gonna work anyway. So then down here, we're gonna return the result. So let's go ahead and test this function. I'm just gonna come down here and why don't we print out the answer? So I'm just gonna say get max, and we'll throw like a two and a five in there, right? So pass in a two and a five, and now when we run this program, hopefully we should get that five back. So I'm gonna run the program, and yep, over here we get our five. So that's working perfectly. So this is basically how we can use comparisons inside of these if statement conditions, right? Technically, this comparison is going to get resolved down to a Boolean value. It's gonna get resolved down to a true or a false. Like either the comparison's true or it's not, right? And that's kind of interesting. So that's sort of the basics. And in addition to using greater than, we could also use less than. Um, we could use less than or equal to. We could use greater than or equal to. We can use equal to, and equal to is t a double equal. So when we use the equal sign down here, we're using it for assignment. So I'm assigning the variable result, the value stored inside num1. When I use this double equals, it's a comparison operator. So I'm comparing the value of num1 with the value of num2. And again, that's either gonna be true or false, right? They're either gonna have the same value or they're not. 
And then the last one we can use is a not equals. And not equals does exactly what you think it does. This whole thing is going to be true if num1 is not equal to num2. So those are sort of uh, the basics. Now let's make this a little bit more complex. So this get max function takes two integers. What if we had it take three? So let's say int num3. Now, all of a sudden, instead of just comparing two numbers, we have to figure out which is bigger among the three numbers. And this is going to make our if statement a lot more complicated. So why don't we just start over and I'll show you guys how we can do this. So inside of this comparison, I need to check to see if num1 is bigger than num2, just like we did last time. But I also need to check and see if num1 is bigger than num3. If num one's bigger than num2 and it's bigger than num3, then we know it's the biggest. So let's start there. I'm just gonna say if num1, and instead of just saying greater than, I'm gonna use a greater than equals, right? Because there is that chance where they're all the same number, in which case this will cover that. So we can say if num1 is greater than or equal to num2, and so I'm going to use this and operator and this is going to allow me to check another condition. So I can say num1 is greater than or equal to num3. So now if num1 is greater than or equal to num2 and it's greater than or equal to num3, then we know num1 is the biggest. So I'm going to set result equal to num1. Now down here we need to check another condition. So I'm going to say else if and we basically want to check to see if num2 is greater than or equal to num1 and num2 is greater than or equal to num3. And if this is the case, in other words, we're going to check this condition if this condition up here is false. So if this condition is false, we know that num1 is not the biggest, right? But if this condition is true down here, then we know num2 is the biggest. So we'll say result is equal to num2. Now, all we have to do is just say else. And down here, we can just say result is equal to num3. Because if this condition is false, that means num1's not the biggest. If this condition is also false, that means num2's not the biggest. So if num1's not the biggest and num2's not the biggest, then num3 must be the biggest. So we're going to default to this value. All right, so that is the if else block that we need. And you see, I'm using a bunch of different stuff here. So not only am I using this and operator, I'm also using these comparison operators, and that's what these guys are called. So let's go ahead and test our little function out. So now instead of saying two parameters, we need to pass in three. So I'm going to pass in two, five, and ten, and we should get ten back, which we do. If we wanted, we could test out each of the positions. So for example, I could test out, um, we'll make this one the biggest now, the second one, and we'll see if it works, and it does. And we'll make this one the biggest now and we'll see if it works. And it does, cool. And then also there was that condition where like two of them were the same. So let's try this where two of these guys are gonna be the same and we're on the program. And yeah, so it's still gonna be able to return 200. So there is our max function and hopefully this gives you guys a little introduction into using comparisons. Now we can compare all different types of data. So Using these comparison operators, we can compare integers. We can also compare like doubles and floats and we can compare characters. So you can compare all of those guys just by using all that stuff in there. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.